My last couple of videos went through the full install of AEV's lift kit on the Diesel Gladiator back here. Uh, but I thought since they sell the geometry, I, I can't say that word, geometry correction brackets separately, maybe somebody bought that and they were just looking for that experience. So I went ahead and clipped that out of the second video so that we can walk through the step-by-step -step of just the brackets. Again, I'm not a pro. I just thought it would be fun to tackle this project myself in my garage. So the stuff I do, the stuff you see me do, may not be the right way or the safe way, but it's the way I was able to figure it out and make it work. So good luck to you, and I hope you found this video helpful. All right, so we're into the truck again, removing the frame side of the control arms so that the bracket can go on. And the upper control arm, hopefully you can see, how am I supposed to get that out of there? They recommend you do, it says in the instructions, with the wheels on the ground. All right. We got wheels on the ground and we got moon doggy. Hey bud. But this is stuck. This is supposed to be free. Hmm. Um, thanks instructions. I think, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Hopefully I don't have to completely remove the axle side, but if I do, I do, I guess. We'll see. Figure something out. So I took the, oops, I took the whole upper control arm out because it was stuck. So I had to, so it's out. Working on the bracket, bottoms in, pain in the butt. The top, what am I supposed to do here? It doesn't line up quite right. See that? So, am I supposed to drill it out? Am I supposed to pound on the factory hardware? Try and bend it into place? Ugh. More figuring it out. This is fun, right? Yeah, <laughs> working on your truck's fun. We're, we're having a good weekend here. I was very surprised that I got the tab reconnected. I thought that was going to make me very upset, but it wasn't too bad. I just, I just wrenched on the bolt until it worked its way in. This, but look, this lower control arm, this isn't even close. So, I don't know. If I'm going to have to jack on it or what. Hopefully the football game's not too loud. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. I got to figure it out. You just got to use the jack to raise the frame a little bit. Then you can get your holes to line up. Kind of annoying, but we got it. Even with the jack here, I couldn't quite get this lined up right. I had to <laughs> use my friend 4 pound sledge and tap on the back side of this bracket just to bend it the tiniest bit to get that bolt through. But hey, we got it. Time to tighten stuff down. Again, we are not even close with the upper control arm. So hopefully my little jack trick will work on this one too, but I'm concerned because that's a way off. So we'll see. Okay, I think even though the instructions say to put the wheels back on, I think I'm going to take them off because my jack isn't high enough. This is still hitting the ground and I need the axle to be free so that I can twist it, twist it forward a little bit, which the instructions for the geometry brackets do mention doing that, but not at this step. They don't mention taking the wheels off. They just mention making sure the axle is off the ground and free. So, with the equipment I have, I'm taking the wheels back off and hoping I can figure it out from there. Maybe some ratchet strap action. We'll see. We'll get it. We'll get it fixed. It'll work. My solution for rolling the axle, uh, like the instructions mentioned, was to take my little floor jack and put it on this brace. Sorry, I don't know the name of it so that when it lifts up, it kind of spins 
as we're looking at the camera counterclockwise. And I think it worked. Look at that. Look at that. Brackets. Damn it. Look at that. Relocation brackets on. Front and rear control arms are on. On the driver's side. Time to do the passenger. This bolt on the upper control arm on the passenger side in front you can't get it out to put the relocation bracket in because all this fun diesel stuff so i'm going to cut it off and hope there is still a hardware store open at 5 30 on sunday to get a new bolt i know i'd read or watched videos about people run running into this on other kits and for some reason i thought you know maybe it won't be me maybe it won't be a problem with aeb's kit Wrong, still a problem. Okay, I'm stricken with mild excitement because I think we got it. The little brackets in there. Every bolt is in and start. I think that was the last bolt. Oh my gosh. I think that was the last bolt. I'm so tired. Uh, little Jack didn't cut it, but putting my largest Jack, which is not that big of a Jack, on this bolt up here was enough to give me the angle I needed to connect that thing. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to tighten up the bracket bolts so that that's on solid on both sides. The control arms are not supposed to be tightened until it's sitting on the ground. So I'll get this thing attached solidly. And yes, I did have to go to Home Depot and get a new bolt. Of course, we cut the other one. Get this attached. Get the wheels back on. Again, hopefully for real this time. Drop it down. Connect those. And then, technically, the EV lift is done. Those relocation brackets were oh, way more of a pain than I was expecting, but yeah, leave it in the air, take, leave it in the air, take the wheels off, leave the wheels off. Oh, and then you can kind of, anyway, we got them on, figured it out. I do have a new concern though. I didn't think about this when I pulled the truck in, but with the lift on, I'm a little concerned that it's not going to clear the garage door. So that should be interesting. 